Hello, good afternoon, students. Happy to see you here, mathematicians. Uh, let's see what joke we have in store for now. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, okay. What do we think about this joke? What happened to the two thieves who stole a calendar? They each got six months because 12 divided by two, 12 months in a year. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Okay. Um, I do just want to say that uh, hopefully you liked seeing your name up on, um, on the posters. So, uh, you know, those opportunities are, you know, coming up often. I'm also going to start um, showcasing some of your awesome iReady uh, work. So you'll definitely want to um, just keep up the really good hard work. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday, so I don't know who's in the World Series, uh, but I'm really excited um, to see. Uh, I'm, I'm like, it's not even the Mets and Dodgers haven't even played yet. So I feel nervous. But when you see this, we'll all know. All right, let's get started. Um, we have been working on multiplying and dividing fractions. That's unit three. And this is lesson two. Uh, and so this is what we did on Monday. But uh, today we wrote expressions, right? Uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, no equal sign to represent multiplication of unit fractions. And I want us to just really pay attention to the fact that if this is representing one third of one half, the one half is first because it comes after the of. If you're taking half of um, your friend's lunch, your friend had the lunch first. Okay, and so let's let's look for an overlap here. So first I have a half. Okay, and then I'm taking a third of that half. One, two, three, and I'm taking a third, one third of it. Soon we'll have two thirds, but for right now, just one third. And then I know that this shape is one, two, three, four, five, six, one sixth of the whole, all right? So again, we have one half and then a third of a half, which is then one sixth of the entire thing, all right? So just to say we had a drawing here. If this is a whole, we have a half. And then if we were counting for sixths, right? If this is one, six, two, six, three, six, right? Because it's right there. Four, six, five, six, six, six. This is a half, which is three, six. And if I split six into thirds, that's one third, two thirds, three thirds. Okay. And that's how, um, that's how I end up having one sixth as one third of this half, which is right here. I'm splitting the half into three pieces. Okay. Now, um, hopefully that's becoming more clear for you. Uh, but let's get started. Celia's teacher asked her to draw a model to represent one third of one fourth. This is what she drew. So good job, Celia. She drew the one fourth first. Love that. And then they're asking us to finish it. So I see Celia's model and I'm going to split my fourths into thirds. Okay, so I need to make that actually a little bit better. So I'm going to make this a little bit lower. Do, do, do. Okay, and then this here. Okay, so I want you just to ignore this. I was taking a fourth of it, but that's wrong. Ignore. Okay, so now I have this one fourth, and now I've shaded one third of the one fourth. So I'll just draw it again so we can be on the same page. One, two, three, and then one two. Okay. So first I'm going to shade in my one fourth and then I'm taking a third 
of one fourth, and this is a third of one fourth. Okay, and so that shape is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is one twelfth of the whole. All right, one third of one fourth equals one third times one fourth, and that equals one twelfth. I'm sure you can see a pattern here, but let's just write what we did here. We finished Celia's model. Um, to finish, I split the one fourth into thirds. Okay. And then I found one third of it. Then I found what one third of one fourth is from a whole. Okay, and it ends up being a 12th. So that's pretty great. All right, let's look at the next problem. It says, which expression, so there's no equal sign here, um, represents the area of the shaded piece. All right, so let's count. This entire thing is one, which means these are fractions. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is one fifth. And then I have one, two, three, four. This is one fourth. So it looks like I have one fourth of one fifth or one fifth of one fourth, one fourth of one fifth or one fifth of one fourth. And those are both one fourth times one fifth, one fifth times one fourth. Those are the same things. Okay. And so my only answer here is, is, is one fourth times one fifth. All right. And I, as a answer, this, can you find one fifth times one fourth uh, to be graded as like a bonus? Can you find that? All right, I look forward to seeing your answers. Okay, um, with a couple more I'm gonna leave for you to have graded. Um, and so I just wanna you know, keep us understanding that. All right, so I'm gonna write a multiplication expression to represent the area of the shaded piece. Well, first, it looks like I have of one half. Right, that's what it started out as, the of. And then it looks like the one half was split into one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like I have one sixth of one half, all right? And it looks like one sixth of one half is one sixth times one half, all right? And that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's gonna be one twelfth. Do you see what's happening here? I'm multiplying the numerators and the denominators in the same way that I've been using multiplication and whole numbers, right? A whole number had a denominator of one. Okay, so this is of the whole. Okay, that's an important distinction. All right, awesome. Now, these review problems, these are required. They're not like suggested. Some of you skip them, don't do that. They get, they're marked wrong. Okay, a shipping crate has a base area of 10 and two thirds square feet and a height of four feet. Okay, so if something already has square feet, I know that it already has the area of length times width and that's 10 and two thirds square feet. So if I'm thinking about my shipping crate um, and 10 and two thirds square feet is like quite big. So if I'm thinking my shipping crate, I'm thinking that, okay, that this bottom area here, I'm gonna write it in orange, this bottom area here is 10 and two thirds squares of feet, okay? So I already know that, and so with my volume length with height, I already know two of the dimensions, and so I'm going to replace those two dimensions with parentheses because it holds in the number with 10 and two thirds because that is, oh, here's another one. That's length times width is 10 and two thirds. They already have the area, all right? And now my base is done. So now let's look at my height. My height is four feet, okay? So I know that this is gonna be four feet 
And then I'm going to get cubic feet as the final uh, answer unit, cubic feet, which is what they actually asked me for. Okay, so now I have a really tough problem if I'm multiplying here. Uh, it, that is what the parentheses are, but I'm going to rewrite this over here so it's nice and neat. I have 10 and 2 thirds times 4. Remember, it's 10 and 2 thirds. So I have 10 and 2 thirds, and they're both times 4. Okay, and then I'm solving both. 10 times 4 is 40. And eight thirds. Okay. I'm going to leave this for you to do to finish graded because I want to see you convert this to a mixed number and then add it to 40. All right. It's really, really important that we see this still as a plus sign that we then convert this into like, you know, numbers that we can add. And then um, you can put your finished cubic feet here. Okay. Now for number five, we did a similar one. I left you to do it um, on your own uh, Monday. So today I'm going to uh, work on it. All right. So Jada has eight pennies, eight pennies at five over two grams each. All right. So I can add five over two, eight times or I can multiply, all right? And I know I'm multiplying across, which is actually what I'm doing in my regular like lessons, even though this is review. And then this is 40 divided by two, which I know is 20 uh, grams total for eight pennies. All right, if you have any question about that, please let me know, write it on your homework, I will read it. And um, I hope that you have a great evening. Please go back and finish this graded. And um, I asked you to finish this, even though it didn't ask for it. I'm looking for those two answers. Okay, have a great night. And I'll see you Wednesday uh, in class. All right.